Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about thiamine deficiency, increasing your baby's risks of SIDS, ADHD, and autism. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years experience working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders as well as perinatal bereavement. Thiamine deficiency can cause serious consequences, including death if left untreated. For decades, it's been investigated by scientists for its role in sudden infant death syndrome and autism. Let's explore what thiamine deficiency is and why it's so important to get it treated. Thiamine is a B vitamin, also called vitamin B1. It is a water-soluble vitamin that is normally absorbed from the foods we eat in our diet. Thiamine is an antioxidant, which is a substance that breaks down harmful free radicals in our body that cause disease. We also use thiamine to help convert or change carbohydrates and fats into energy that our body uses. Thiamine also helps your muscles, heart, and nervous system work properly. While pregnant, thiamine is necessary for proper brain development and overall growth of your baby. Thiamine is also essential for the placenta to function properly. Thiamine deficiency is also called beriberi. There are two forms of beriberi, wet and dry. Wet beriberi affects the heart and circulatory system. Symptoms of wet beriberi include fatigue, loss of appetite, shortness of breath during activities, waking up with shortness of breath, swollen feet, rapid heart rate, and pain in the arms and legs. If left untreated, wet beriberi can lead to heart failure. Dry beriberi affects the nerves. Symptoms of dry beriberi include vomiting, tingling, pain, mental confusion, muscle weakness, loss of muscle strength and function in the legs, and loss of sensation in the hands and feet. If left untreated, dry beriberi can lead to muscle paralysis. Both forms of beriberi are life-threatening if treatment isn't started quickly. Thiamine deficiency is a serious issue for pregnant women. Up to 37% of women with severe thiamine deficiency during pregnancy may experience a miscarriage. Thiamine is an essential nutrient for the proper growth and development of the newborn, including development of the fetal nervous system and muscle function. Thiamine deficiency can develop during pregnancy and postpartum. When mothers are breastfeeding and thiamine deficient, a baby can become deficient as well. In these cases, it usually takes about three to four weeks before the baby will start to show signs of thiamine deficiency. To correct and prevent thiamine deficiency in the breastfeeding baby, your thiamine levels must be normal for at least a few weeks, which allows your baby's thiamine levels to catch up. Then normal thiamine levels must be maintained to prevent relapse. Thiamine deficiency in infants increases the risk of autism, delayed language development, development of behavioral issues including ADHD, decreased visual alertness, and sudden infant death syndrome or SIDS. Thiamine deficiency in SIDS has been investigated by scientists since the mid-1970s. To date, studies have not been able to find a definitive correlation, but there is data that shows a possible connection. SIDS appears to be higher in populations that are traditionally thiamine deficient. Wet beriberi can cause heart failure, which may contribute to SIDS as well. There is also newer evidence in adults that thiamine deficiency may contribute to sleep apnea. Current research is also finding an increased risk of SIDS when there is a family history of sleep apnea. Studies continue to be conducted on these issues, and at this time, it is not proved that thiamine deficiency is a contributing factor to SIDS, simply that it may place the baby at increased risk. For more information on how to keep your baby safe from SIDS, please see the links in the description below. Now before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. 
Now let's talk about the causes of thiamine deficiency. The three main causes of thiamine deficiency in pregnant women are lack of thiamine in the diet, alcoholism, and hyperemesis gravidarum. The most common cause is a lack of dietary thiamine. Thiamine is not something our body makes naturally. We must obtain it from our diet and we must also have proper levels of magnesium and other electrolytes in order to absorb it properly. Diets that are high in white sugar, white flour, and highly processed carbohydrates can cause thiamine deficiency. This type of diet is common in the United States and many other parts of the world. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a form of extreme morning sickness caused by excessive vomiting. This can lead to many issues including electrolyte imbalances, weight loss, dehydration, and depletion of nutritional stores. It also reduces our nutritional intake. Our bodies are only able to store two to three weeks of thiamine. So when a mother is experiencing hyperemesis gravidarum, she may not be taking enough thiamine in to keep her levels at normal, leading to thiamine deficiency. For more information on hyperemesis gravidarum, please see our video on this. We will link that in the description below. Chronic or excessive alcohol use can also lead to thiamine deficiency due to poor diet and stomach inflammation that reduces the absorption of vitamins and minerals. Elimination of alcohol should take place during pregnancy, but if you're a heavy drinker, it's important to quit drinking under a healthcare provider's guidance as there can be risks of seizures if not done properly. For more information on quitting and resources to help, please contact SAMHSA. We will provide a link in the description below. The recommended daily intake for thiamine for pregnant and breastfeeding women is 1.4 milligrams per day. Most prenatal vitamins will contain more than this amount, but our bodies may not fully absorb it in this form. Eating a diet that includes thiamine-rich foods is the best way to prevent and treat thiamine deficiency. Some foods that are high in thiamine include whole grain breads, fortified breads and cereals, lean pork, brown rice, enriched white rice, hard-boiled eggs, peas, lentils, pecans, oranges, and cantaloupes. Taking an additional thiamine supplement should not be needed if you are taking a prenatal vitamin containing thiamine and eating a balanced diet that includes thiamine-rich foods. You should consult your healthcare provider to determine if you may have additional thiamine needs due to being pregnant with multiples, experiencing hyperemesis gravidarum, or possibly even medications you are taking. Never start a supplement or vitamin without your healthcare provider's approval first. Thiamine deficiency can have serious consequences for both mother and baby. I hope this has explained what thiamine deficiency is and why it's so important to prevent and treat it. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.